What we're going to talk about in this section is 2.5 is transformation of functions. We're going to recognize common functions, use vertical shifts, horizontal shifts, reflections, vertical stretching and shrinking, horizontal stretching and shrinking, graph of function involving sequence of transformation. So we're going to see if we can't figure this stuff out. Uh, for starters, what we need to know is the general form. So as you can see right here, uh, we have a couple examples of general forms for graph. The first one is our square root function. So you can see the square root symbol is that's how we know uh, what the, the parent function is. And uh, what you should also know is be familiar with the shape of the graph and the characteristics of a graph that is the square root function. This of course as you can see is absolute value. This is a quadratic, this is a cubic, and this is a cube root. You need to be very aware of this. Uh, so page 255 has each graph. Uh, it has, I guess, seven different ones. Uh, I didn't list the common function or the constant function or the identity function, uh, but you need to look at those. It tells you uh, the domain, the range, whether it's increasing, decreasing, or constant, and on the intervals, and also whether it's an even, odd, or neither function. So make sure you're aware of the, the common forms because if you don't know what the common forms are, the transformations aren't going to make much sense. So uh, that's the basic thing, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at each of these variables. So A, as you can see, each of these has an A, each of them has a B, and each of them has a C and a D. A, uh, what A is, it's going to be the coefficient of your parent function. So it's the, the number that's being multiplied by the outside, or divided, I guess, if you want to say that, of your parent function. B is the coefficient of your variable X before you do your parent function. So the coefficient of x before we take the square root, before we take the absolute value, before we square it. And then c is the constant inside our parent function, where d is going to be the, the constant on the outside. So keep that in mind. Look at page 255, because we're going to look at what a, b, is c, and d uh, due to these graphs. And then that will extrapolate that to other graphs we're going to study later.